A very good morning friends and in this video we are going to discuss about the functions. Functions are subsets of the relations under the given conditions and what are the relations? The relations are the subsets of the rectangular Cartesian products. So now just I am just debriefing you about the Cartesian product and the relations and the functions then we'll discuss different type of functions because now my target is to go into the calculus and before that I would like to finish the inverse trigonometric functions because we have almost finished the trigonometric functions series, trigonometrical identities so here I would like to go for the functions, definition, the range, how the functions, how they are defined and what type of functions are there in this video. So the first, let's talk about the Cartesian product. Cartesian product, as you all know, like suppose let you have two sets. Let A is a set. Suppose X, suppose the X is a prime number. Prime number less than 10 then if you write this set in the proper tabular form or roster form then this goes like 2 3 5 7 let b is a set of vowels of english alphabets then we will have a e i o u then the rectangular Cartesian like A cross B is defined as the ordered pair A, B such that A belongs to set A and B belongs to set B. If you see that the number of elements in the set A is 4 and the number of elements in the set B is 5 then number of elements in this Cartesian product will be 20 and they will be something of the nature since I'm writing A cross B so A will be first so 2A, 2E, 2E so write like 2A, 2E, 2I 2O to you then 3A 3E like that and the finally we'll have 7A 7E and 7U so you get four rows one, two, three, first row will be with the two, second row, three, third row, five, fourth row, seven, and the column wise, this will go like this. So, this is called the rectangular Cartesian product. If you want to find the rectangular Cartesian product B cross A, then we'll have A2, A3, A5, A7, E2, E3, E5, E7, I2, I3, I5, I7, O2, O3, O5, O7, U2, U3, U5, U7. Very much. So it will be just like you will have five rows then A and then the column will reduce but the number of elements will remain 20. Now a relation is the subset of so R is a subset of so from this I will derive one small set suppose I say that uh, R so R so this is a relation. I can pick anything. Suppose I pick for the even number and uh, or you can say the odd first number is odd and the second number is not u. So just anything you can pick. I can just take a subset of this. I'll say 2a. Now 3a and 5a and 7a. So this is a subset of this set and this is called the relation. Now you see the first elements, first elements are sorted pair 2, 3, 5, 7. That is called the domain of the relation. Domain of R will be two, three, five, seven. 
and the co-domain of R will be just one element that is A. And the, this one can also be called as range, when you go domain and the range. If I take the, some more elements like the 2A, 2B, 2C, suppose if I take, copy the whole thing as the relation, then my core domain will become A, E, I, O, U. So if you want to represent this in the form of mapping, then A will be this set, B will be this set. Now we have 2, 3, 5, 7. Here I have just one. So the mapping says that 2 is related to A, 3 is related to this, 5 is related to this, 7 is related to this. So this is our mapping, relation for the mapping. Now the function is a relation so that each element of this set A is uh, necessarily have one unique image in this set. So now we are coming back to the idea of functions from here. So for that I need to clear my screen. So it goes like this, a function of if f from a to b like this. This is a, this is b. If f a to B is said to be function and this is a relation in right now is a function I don't need this if uh, this one is a function if each element of set A if each element if all the elements of set A is associated with a unique element of set B. Now I read the definition again for you. So what says that? A function from A to B is a, said to be a function if all the elements of set A are associated with a unique element of set A. This is our function. Means I have a function here. This is the set A, B. I take another example. Suppose I have two, I take it like this. One, two, three, four, five. So it is just the first five natural numbers. And here I take the natural number as first 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Till 25 is fine. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time writing so many numbers. Now, Suppose A is related, this one is related to 1, 2 is related to 4, and 3 is related to 9. So now you understand that I am trying to get a square function. 4 is related to 16, and 5 is related to 25. Instead of writing here, I write 25 here, then this. So each element, 1 is associated, means this one is the image of this function like 1 is associated with 1 2 is associated with 4 3 is associated with 9 4 is with 16 and 5 with 25 or you can say this 1 is the image of 1 under the rule that is f a to b 
x square so we can write this as fx equals x square so one square is one so this one is the image of this or this one is the pre image of this two is the pre image of four or four is the image of two nine is the image of three three is the pre image of nine four is the pre image of sixteen and twenty five is the image of five so this is fx equal to x square this is function now all these elements they are called the codomain so codomain we can write 1 2 dot dot 25 but the range is only those values which have the pre images in this function so range are 1 4 9 16 25 that is our range and this is the basic definition of function now we go and discuss the different type of function one such function is called one one function or injection so let me clear the screen and then discuss one one function or now we will discuss the function type of the functions called the one one function one one function one one function or injection as its name suggests that the one function of the set A will be related to only one function or one element of the set B. So the definition goes like a function is said to be one one function if each element of a function this i say from a to b a function from a to b is said to be one one function if each element of a is associated with one element of set b Now, it means I have a function from here, this is A and this is B. So A, B, so it goes like this, 1, 1. So I say, suppose this I design new one, A, B, C, D, and here I make it as 1, 2, 3, 4. Then by definition, it also says that if you take take two elements from set A, so let x and y are the elements of set A, then fx equal to fy if x is equal to y. So if x is equal to y, then fx equal to fy, and if fx is not equal to fy, then x is not equal to fy so this is how you can uh, find that whether this is a injection or whatever function or not now the one one functions have some unique properties like these one one functions are always strictly increasing or decreasing and uh, what does it mean strictly increasing means their slope is always either greater than zero or less than zero strictly but that we'll discuss little later right now suppose i if we are given a function and then how will you check whether the function is one one function or not so let me elaborate this uh, one one function with an example let we are given a function fx is x square plus two and then we have to check whether this is a function or not so let me pick two elements from set A arbitrarily so x and y are the members of the set A like this one this is just a way of saying mathematically so x and y such that fx equal to fy 
and if you are able to prove that since we have taken fx equal to fy then we have to prove that x is also equal to y so now i put the value fx there so become x is square plus 2 and this if you put the value y here then i'll get fy is y square plus 2 it means x square equal to y square and now those who understand that when we find the square root then i'll get the situation like plus minus x equal to plus minus y means four such situation arise like the positive x negative x positive y minus y so it x square 2 is not unique like suppose if i take this example suppose i take minus 2 and the 2 then also their squares are same but x and y are not minus 2 is not equal to 2 but their squares are same it means this is not this is not an injection or one one function now but if my example is fx equal to x cube plus 7 so again i pick two values x and y arbitrarily from this set so x and y belong into a such that fx is fy then x cube plus 7 equal to y cube plus 7 x cube equal to y these two gives you always a unique values like the positive ones is cube is suppose i take the x value as 2 then the 2 cube is 2 cube and the minus 2 cube is also minus 2 cube therefore this function is an injection or 1 1 function now the second type we are going to discuss is called many one function so let me clear the screen and that name suggests many one now here we have a function of type many one function this is not given any particular name so this is called the many one function and it is defined as if a function a function f from a to b is said to be many one if x not equal to y but fx is fy so this is one condition and you can also say that like the you have relation like many from here go to one so just like in the previous video previous uh, example we had a b c d suppose they are all related to two so this is a kind of many one function so like even if you do like f a so f a is two f b is also two so even if a is not equal to b but f a is equal to f b now the better algorithm to solve this question whether this is a many one function is that suppose you are given a function f x is x square plus x so again we'll pick two values and then we get f x and f y so now let me pick the two values x and y x and y from a such that so fx equal to fy and then we only have to prove that x is not equal to y because we have taken this considered consideration that fx is equal to fy but we have to prove that x is not equal to y then only it can be a many one function so fx is x square plus x and this is y square plus y so x is square minus y square plus x minus y is 0 so x minus y and then this is x plus y so this 
plus 1 I am factorizing this so I take x minus y common then I get x plus y plus 1 is 0 so in one case you are getting x is y but in other case you are getting a relation like this so these two suggest that take x cannot be equal to y because here it says that x is minus y minus 1 so there is no value of x and y which is going to satisfy this condition giving you that x is equal to y as long as if this equation is true x will never be equal to y therefore this function is many one function this is how this algorithm works so after this we are going to discuss another type of relation and for that i have to clear the now we have another type of function called as on to function on to function this function is that a function a function f from a to b is said to be on to function if each element of the set b has a pre-image in the set A. Means the co-domain and the range are same thing in a kind of way. So we can say that every element of set B, like suppose I have said this, this is set B. So A, B, I have 2, 4, 5, 7 and A, B, C, D. So every element of this one, 2, should have one image into this whatever you say because this is otherwise it's not a function not like that but means every element of this one should be associated so this can be related to this this can be related to this obviously there should not be any one any one which is not related so I messed up my representation but here I can just say that okay so every element of this set like the two should have a pre-image it's four five seven all the elements of the set B should have a pre-image into this one so then i can write like this then this and then this yes so now each and every element of set b have a pre-image into this so in this condition our domain is a b c d our core domain is 2 5 2 4 7 5 7 and our range is also 2 4 5 7 this every element of the core domain has a pre-image into this condition so this is the idea of the so we can judge it like if the core domain is equal to the range then we can say this is onto function now another one is called as into function into function i n into it means that there is at least one element present in this set suppose 6 which does not have a pre-image into the set A and that becomes into function as its name says onto means every element of the set A is occupied and here at least one element is not occupied and you can say one element is not it's called into there is some space left so that's why it is called as into function now we have to clear the screen and then we'll discuss the final one very important call as 1 1 on 2 or by z so this is 1 1 on 2 function also called as bijection and we have discussed that this is so it means both these conditions should meet and that is it should be 1 1 function and it should be on to function on to function means the core domain and the range should be same and this is one one is every element of this is related to the one element of this uniquely so a function 
f from a to b is said to be a bijection if number 1 it is 1 1 1 1 function that is surjection sorry that is injection and this another one is called onto it means fx equal to this is the algorithm for the fx uh, for one one function that fx is equal to fy if x is equal to y or fx is not equal to fy if x is not equal to y second is onto function onto function which means co-domain and the range are same so these two conditions are there then these kind of functions are called as bijection and the bijection functions are always invertible that's why the function has to be bijection if you want its inverse to exist So it has to be bijection, then only its inverse is possible. This is all about the bijection functions. Now, this is all for the functions. And in the very next video, we'll discuss about our like the compound functions or the composite function, the functions which are made up of two or more functions.